Hey everyone, we're back, finally, after quite a while, it has to be said, with some more MGS3. And looks like I have to pick up these damn noodles again. Anyway, that's alright, there's the spider there that I'm not going to deal with. I bet my food's rotten. Yeah, look at all that food that's going to have to be chucked away. Oh, I do love chucking away food that I really should have eaten, but I didn't really need to, I suppose. Uh, we could do with a bit of top up on our stamina at the moment. So I'm going to eat a rat. No, actually, I'm not sure if I did that in the last video, but... Um, whenever you save, it sort of just reloads the beginning of the area that you're in, so... Uh, Story-wise, we just met up with Eva, and then we sort of eavesdropped... Well, sort of watched from afar. Uh, Colonel Volgin beating the living shit out of, uh... Granin, was it? And, you know, he suspects there's a spy and all that stuff, and... We've been told we need to, uh... Get inside the base. The big, big impenetrable fortress of Grozny Grad. By using a disguise, which... Luckily, we have just what we need, but... Uh, we need to actually... Oh, look, the frog's up there. So, we can shoot it if we want, but I'm not going to. We need to get down the mountain. Through a door that we couldn't actually go through before. So that's where we're headed. And this is the point where there are dudes with flamethrowers. I thought it was before, but I think they start appearing now. In the trenches, which is lovely. And I think this is probably, yep, still the best camo for the job, so we'll stick with it. Desert animals. And we're just going to crawl down here, and then probably drop off the edge of the cliff, and hopefully not die, or break a bone. But I'm just trying to see if I... Oh, hello, yeah, that's a flamethrower, dude. Yeah, don't really want to antagonize them, because they will burn you, and it will hurt. And I'm going to try and snipe him in the face, and it missed, but we get him on the second shot, as usual. That barrel's still very dangerous looking on the edge there, but... Um, oh, I don't like this one bit. I can't exactly tell if there's anyone... ...down there, but there doesn't seem to be. Can I see anyone? At all. That's going to spot me if I stand up. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump up here... ...very quickly, and hit the dirt! Now... I don't think that chopper is actually buzzing around this place, but there are a couple of guards I can see. Anyone in the trenches? Anyone that I may need to worry about? I don't know, because if I drop over the edge there... Oh, hello! Ho ho! Good job I didn't drop down, because we would have been seen. Now, if I... In fact, I can't afford to get up, can I not? Screw it. I'm going to jump down here. Then we're going to jump down here. Then we're going to jump down here. And we're going to run in the door! And we haven't been seen. That went extremely well. Oh, I love it when when I don't get seen. Oh, I, I do. And we're going to roll, commando roll, down these stairs, because we're badass. We actually rolled on top of the railing there. That was pretty awesome. What's this? Grenade. And we do the happy little jog down the steps. That is such a... I don't know. I just imagine a little a little lamb trotting across a meadow with a bandana and a gun in its hand. Anyway, picking up some bullets, and it's pretty dark in here, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to change my camo, though, because this isn't actually any useful. Well, not useful anymore. Uh, splitter would be good. I think I'm probably going to go for the splitter. It seems to have the highest camo index. So we're going to go for the splitter. Get rid of the, get rid of the uh, desert off his face and go for splitter again. Why not? Oh, we got to we got to look good on our mission, don't we, Snake? Eh? Got to look the part. And oh, look, bats on the ceiling. Don't want to uh, piss them off. Stop flapping your wings, boy. I'm just just walking by. Don't mind me. I ain't gonna hurt you. That's it. Right. Oh, what's this? Ooh. A bandage and some ointment. That is actually going to be used, I, I'm guessing, in the next part of the game. Not going to spoil it for those of you who don't know what's coming, but uh, you notice this is quite a big area we're about to descend into. Well, you'd be surprised what occurs down here. 
couldn't be a boss fight, could it? Oh, no. No, no, it couldn't be. No, it just... You know what? Screw ladders. We're just going to jump down. And a cutscene is about to start. Oh, dear. I don't like this bit that's coming up. Mainly because I suck at it. Quite badly, in fact. Hmm. Oh shit, that's a lot of fire. And where there's fire, there's usually a big man in a spacesuit with a flamethrower. <laughs> Oh yeah, and he's got a jetpack as well. And terrible fury at being alive. Now you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Can we not just be friends? I mean, is there any uh, need to burn us alive like this? Uh, I don't know what you've been through in the past, Fury, Mr. Fury. Uh, do you mind if I call you Mr. Fury? Because, uh, well, this boss fight does shit me up a little bit. Because it's very dark, and he flies around. And you got to try and find him. Which I'm not doing at the moment. And I think uh, the best way, really, is to snipe the bastard. But I can't see him. Is he... Ah, oh, he's at the end over there. He's very difficult to see, but... Uh, Ah, I've got my shotgun equipped. I need my sniper, I think, for this fight. I'm going to try the sniper method. And, uh, yeah, this fight can go quite easily. Uh, it's not difficult, but if you fuck up and get too close to him and get burned badly, then it's not quite so pretty. I'm going to try and avoid that. So let's get my sniper out. Oh, he's just turning the corner. Can you believe that? Okay. Right, we're going to try and shoot you in the face. Where the fuck have you gone? Where the hell did you go? Oh, is he... There he is. Yeah, take that. Right. Now's the time to move. Because he's going to get pretty angry at us now. Hey, he's called the Fury, but... Uh, shit, he's up there. Time to shoot him. Your flame suit is ripped. Oh dear. Now's the time to run, Snake. Oh no, he's chasing me. You know what? Have some flame. Oh shit. Shit, run, Snake. Run. Get up. Don't, don't, no, don't get your sniper out, you div. Don't run into the flame. Oh, we're burned. Right, okay. Let's let's cure this. Let's get on top of it. We got a burn on our chest. We need a bandage and some ointment to mundo. And let's try and get another nice shot on him. Where the fuck is he gone? He does like to move about a bit, this chap. Oh, shit. Um, actually, shotgun would be better at close range, so I'm going to get that out as well. Ooh, well it's, going, it's going okay, though. I mean, I do have some life medicine, which I'll probably have to use at some point. Yeah, take that, you bastard. Take that again. No, don't run away from me. And he flies away, like a little coward. Oh shit, he's coming back. Oh shit, he's there. Don't mind me. Just stop Stop trying to flame me, man. Oh, there he is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh dear. <laughs> I kind of missed there. Um, where's my life medicine, anyway? 
I wouldn't mind using some, because I'm getting a little bit low. Why am I going into my food? It's the backpack I'm after. Life medicine at the top. I couldn't see that a few videos ago, but it is there. We have some. And I'm going to use some. Because that is really the only thing that can cure you pretty quickly. Stop laughing. Stop. Oh, fuck. Where is he? Snake. I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, shit. Right, um, they're a bit fucked here, actually. Oh, get out of the f flame! Oh, how did- Oh, we're dead! Oh, no! Oh, hell n Right, okay. So that's that's how you die in this fight. Yeah. Uh, if you get so close, you're, you're pretty fucked. Um, which is why it's always nice to stay at a distance and snipe him, I guess. Let's try that again. I do so hate this boss fight, because I've seen people do it on YouTube, and they, they like, piss it. It's, like, so easy for them. But, oh, no. Not for not for old Major Boy. Ah, you're over there. I can see you just about. Kind of see his bald head through the, uh, the helmet of his. Alrighty, dude. You are going down. Right. Damn it. Right. So he's gonna... He's gonna go somewhere. So maybe if I just rope him down... Maybe that'll work, but I don't like going down this end of the place, because he can surprise you. Oh, he's at the other end of here. Shit. Where is he? Oh, I just, just got him there. That's good, right. No. Time to move. Don't come over here. Oh, oh. He just ran past us. Shit. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, maybe the motion detector or something will be useful in this. Oh, fuck. Hello, Mr. Fury Man. It's very hot in here. Get up there, snake. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is the fucker? Now, usually a bad idea to come over here, especially when you get burned, but... Oh, there he is. Oh, you little sod. Oh, we blew up a barrel and it got him! Son of a bitch! Yeah, you liked that, didn't you? You whore. Right, let's cure. We might have him this time. We're doing alright here. We're doing okay. Ointment and a bandage. A bandage. And we just need another hit on him. And we have got the bastard, I reckon. Yeah, those barrels, uh, don't think I've ever used them against him. Usually they just hurt me. Oh, if you sit, that is just the perfect moment to pause the game there, isn't it? Look at that. That is action packed. That is a screenshot for the back of the box. We like that. Let me get the shot now. Don't die now, Snake. That would really suck. Let's run down here. In fact, I am going to use some life medicine just to be safe, because you've seen... You've seen how quickly you can die with the uh, fire. And we don't want to die again. That would be bad. Maybe, uh... Where is he? Where are you? Oh, he's over there somewhere. Is he going to come down this way? If he does, I'm going to have him. Yeah! And the fury is down. See? Easy fight. When you don't get up close to him. Boss. This is the end of the Copas. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the Sod. Do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the earth. No, dude, that's the ceiling. Oh, shit. Yeah, time to move, Snake. I'd, uh, Get out of here pretty pretty quickly. By you. I mean it's very pretty fire, but Whoa. that's like a face. It's 
It's terrifying. Run, snake, don't stare at it with your gun. What are you gonna do, pistol it? It's a big ball of fire. Gotta get out of there, man. Yeah, just, just run. What, you, you gonna knife it now? What are you gonna do? Just run, man. It's a big face of flame. There we go, and I do not think we're going to be going back that way anytime soon. Yeah, that that fight always reminds me of uh, the second Vulcan Raven fight in MGS1. Just because it's got, you know, a big dude with a big fucking scary weapon chasing you. But, uh, yeah, that actually went better than it did last time I played this game. Even though I did die, I uh, didn't take me quite a few as attempts as it usually does. Which is nice, so we're going to pick up the oh, another suppressor for our trank gun, another bit of ointment, and yep, a bandage. So that's very nice of the game to give us those, considering we, we well, you can get pretty badly burned from that fight, as you've seen. Uh, I think I don't really need to have my sniper and my shotgun equipped anymore, so I might as well unequip them, so my stamina doesn't shoot down like a bastard. And we got a ladder to climb. Up we go. And I'm sorry I'm not sort of using the radio during the, the boss fights, because you can hear some interesting tips on how to fight them, but... I don't know, it just takes time, and I'd rather just get on with the fight. It's probably more interesting to watch, and... Where is this going to take us? 